Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from Krasberg. I hope you are doing fantastic. I know I am. Before we get into the buildings here, I uh, just want to inform you guys that if you leave a like and subscribe and comment, it really helps my channel out. It really helps me understand what kind of content you guys like, what kind of content you don't like. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps me out. Thank you guys. Uh, the first building we're doing here is the red building. It's built on a diagonal, which is just a pain uh, and was really tricky to do. We did this on a stream, so if you want to see that, make sure to just check out one of my latest stream replays. Uh, but it was really a tricky building to get right because of the tower and the shape of it and also the way we decided to do the roof but in the end i think it turned out pretty good and i'm very happy with how it turned out happy with how the colors mix in together as well with this brick in the bottom and then this red stucco with red tudor uh, and red planks as well there's a lot of different materials here and trying to work them in together is something that i find very um, very interesting to work with then we have a little yellow building popping up right next to it. Uh, this is a weaver, so it's gonna have this small plateau next to the river and stuff like that. It's gonna just be a beautiful little building. I love this color in particular. I've been using that quite a lot uh, in this town. And I was spending uh, a little bit more than usual on the facade of this one because uh, diagonals are really tricky and there's a lot of limitations when you're building diagonals, especially when it comes to the amount of detail you uh, one ad and that amount of detail that actually does look good so uh, i was spending a, a lot of time just trying to play around with the facade to make that look as good as possible uh, given that we're building on diagonal uh, and yeah i think it turned out good uh diagonals are still pretty hard and it's something um i even struggled with even though i've done like like over half of the buildings in Krasberg are built on diagonal but i'm still struggling every single time because it's such a unique way of building compared to what I usually do. And then we're building this little house here, which is blue, basically. It's uh, a blue chandler making candles and stuff uh, with a nice cobblestone foundation. And I love the woodwork we have in the front here. We also have a little bit of an extension to the back here, uh, just to give it some uniqueness, I guess. Then we're also working a little bit on the path in between these buildings here. There's going to be a small well and just adding some atmosphere here to uh, the whole area, which I think is super important if you want to make your town come alive. It's just adding these small bits here. Uh, as you can see, we have this little um, well. Spending some time on that. We have some crates being stored around. We have uh, building a little bit of a cart as well right here in the middle. Uh, and just small things that makes a town look alive in a way. And then we are moving on to the last building, which was the hardest one of all for today. Uh, not only is it built on diagonal, but all of the walls have different shapes. So the front is built on a slightly diagonal, and then this one of the sides is just straight, and the other one is curved, and the third one is on a different angle. And it was just a pain to get the roof right here. Um, but we, we did a little test first, just deleted that, and try it again with a steeper slope. I think that kind of did it, uh, having the steeper slope. And then just trying to hide the fact that uh, the, the roof is a little bit bad by adding some dormers and stuff, just kind of breaking up the symmetry a little bit, uh, which kind of just takes away um, the look of that. Before we start today's tour, I just want to show you on the map where we are currently building. Uh, with my cursor here, you can see the area these four houses here is what we've been working on in today's episode and that is what we're looking at right here uh, it's uh, kind of weird when it's stand alone like this but we're gonna continue this area right here uh, up over the hill here and it's gonna look pretty good uh, the colors looks pretty nice as well you can also see straight to the blossom square which is uh, all the way behind there um, and then we have the guild we did last episode right next to that so that is pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna start with the yellow building, shall we? Let's run in, or actually no, let's run in here. And just check out the backyard here, which is kind of separated from the street with this wooden plank railing thing. Uh, and then looking down at the small river here. Cozy little place with a small little farm. Uh, Cause yeah, whenever you can provide for yourself, do that, you know? We have some small trees and yeah. A lot of atmosphere happening here. Cozy little place. Uh, inside, 
we go up the stair and we have this big weave thing where we're creating textiles and carpets and stuff like that kind of cool I like the design we come up with here and then we have this rock no spinning wheel spinning Jenny I don't know <laughs> I don't know what to call it uh, this little thing right here um, for making threads basically so that is kind of like that and then they're making textiles and stuff um, pretty cool in the back we have uh, just some storage for um, for that and also an exit to another small backyard where we have the, um, the toilet here or the outhouse and, and which is shared by these houses here but uh, yeah let's go in again let's go up this ladder here uh, where we have uh, a small hallway we can go even further up but before we do that I want to show you the kitchen area which is here where you prepare some food and you can eat it right here uh, with some nice view over the lake here and the street uh, kind of like that uh, outside here again up the staircase and uh, we have some bedrooms we have some beds like that and then the master bed here um, yeah some simple woodwork in the ceiling here and then some storage basically that's pretty much it for this place so we'll go down and check out the red building I guess we get, we'll go out the front door and, and move over here look at the, at the hill of faith over here which uh, is one of my favorite places in Kratzberg but yeah the red building right here kind of unique interesting looking uh, we have this tower or turret pretty much that is like sticking out or bastion I think is the correct term in effect uh, but it just creates a unique looking build you know so that is that we can go in here this is a cobbler so it's repairing shoes and stuff and trying to replicate that we don't really have any shoe blocks we can place here uh, but we have an armor stand with some leather boots on and, and like just hammering on the boots trying to fix them and then some new leather hanging here which you can cut off some pieces and use to repair them uh, in the back here we have uh, some kind of kitchen area with a fireplace or an oven and, and things like that and upstairs we have the dining area where you will be eating the food uh, also a little fireplace to heat up this place with uh, a little bedroom in the side here and also an attic where we have the master bedroom here and a little storage area in the back here so that is that for the red building let's go down here again uh, and yes if I can just find my way out of here uh, the view is also pretty nice from here looking down at the small courtyard here um, yeah not too bad so close that door we're back here again um, this small courtyard uh, there's also a small door hidden here going out to the main well not the main street but the main back street here uh, where we have the cart the well the blue house and the orange house um, and just some like barrels and crates and stuff stacked here which just makes it feel a lot more alive so I guess we'll move around here and then go into the blue building which is uh, the chandler so we have this big rig here to uh, make candles and basically you just dip the rope in here and this is molten wax and they will like cover up and harden and and you can take them up and shape them up and yeah I don't really know how it works I'm just being creative here um, but yes that is that uh, we have yeah, just some storage and stuff in the back we have a little bit of a kitchen area as well with a door leading to this back courtyard here so we'll go up the staircase uh, where we have the dining area where you sit another small sitting area uh, and also the master bedroom right here this will have a nice view over the small back alley here uh, so it's, yeah I wouldn't really complain about that uh, nice light coming through here there will possibly be a building that might cover some of the sunlight but still not too shabby um, and all the way upstairs we have uh, some beds for the children of the family and some storage now let's go back let's move around and check out the orange building shall we 
close the door go out here and then we have the orange building which is the bottle maker uh, we have this big oven here where uh, with sand on the side so you would like use that to create bottles like this um, and just trying to be creative here it's kind of tricky to to build some of the professions here so you just got to be creative and try your very best um, there's also a lot of fog in here as you can see from the melting of the sand and the heat and the window here is open so the, the fog or the smoke is kind of just flown through here uh, the actual fog or smoke would go through the chimney but like heat and fog and humidity like would fill up the room here so I just kind of just flowing out the window here we can go upstairs where we have a kitchen area and also a small dining area like that we have the master bedroom which is kind of narrow but yeah you got to do what you got to do when the building is this strange and uh, when it comes to shape uh, upstairs we have some beds for the children here also a window leading out getting some uh, daylight sun in here and also some storage in the back here for food uh, and other things like that so that's like pretty much it for today's episode it's been fun uh, I've been able to stream a lot of it which is something I really appreciate and I hope that you guys do as well uh, and we're really progressing here I I'm very happy with how Krasberg is just moving forward constantly and we're always putting in the work to make this town come alive but anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been Vigo man and I'm out